Okay, today we will start day six, which is the last day of the unit on graphing rational equations. And our first example, we have the equation y equals 3x plus 2 times x minus 3 over x times x minus 3 over 3x plus 1. So we want to think about um, our restrictions first. So let's look at our denominator and figure out our restrictions. So our restrictions would be that x could not equal 0, x minus 3 could not equal 0, so when we add that 3, x could not equal 3, and then 3x plus 1 could not equal 0, so we would subtract 1 and we would divide by 3, so x could not be negative 1 third. So we have three restrictions, and then we'll write our domain based off of those. So if you think about our number line, again, we got negative infinity, positive infinity. There's negative one-third, zero, and three. So I can be every number except for those three. So our domain would be negative infinity to negative one-third and negative one-third to zero and zero to three and then lastly three to infinity. So the domain's quite a bit and use your restrictions to help you write that. So now let's talk about points of discontinuity. So these are your restrictions. So points of discontinuity would be where there's a break in your graph. And we haven't graphed this yet, and I don't want you to yet. I want you to learn about all the points of discontinuity the restrictions, the domain, and then we'll start looking at graphs a little bit later. So if we think about um, our function, we can simplify this because we have some common factors. So I could cross out these two x minus threes, and this would simplify to three x plus two over x times three x plus one. So there's two types of points points of discontinuity. There's removable and there's non-removable. So the removable point of discontinuity means there's a hole in the graph. And we'll look at that a little later when we start graphing. And to figure out this algebraically, you want to use the factor that is crossed out. Okay, so we're going to use the factor that is crossed out. So if we go back up here to our function, we crossed out this x minus 3. So we're going to set that equal to 0. And we would see that our removable point of discontinuity is at x equals 3. So literally in the graph at x equals 3, there's going to be a hole drawn in that function. The other type is called non-removable, and that means there's an asymptote there. So to refresh your memory, um, an asymptote is just a line that your function is getting closer and closer to but will never touch. And you're going to use the factor or factors in the denominator that was not crossed out. So if we look back up at our function, the x was not crossed out, so you're going to set that equal to zero, 0, sorry, okay, and then this 3x plus 1 was not crossed out, so set that equal to 0, we would subtract 1, and we would divide by 3 to get x is equal to negative 1 third. So remember how I told you that your points of discontinuity were your restrictions? We had three restrictions. 
One of those was removable. The other two were non-removable. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying it comes from your restrictions. Okay, so let's do another example. In this example, um, your function is not factored for us. And that's the first thing you want to do is factor. Okay, so factor first. Because we're doing this algebraically right now, not graphically. So you can see that this is a quadratic, and we would want to do AC method. And for time purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what that would be. So that's going to be 2x minus 1 times x minus 6. In your denominator, you have a GCF. So that would be x squared minus 36. So then this is a difference of squares. So we would have x times x plus 6, x minus 6. So now your function's factored. I would do my restrictions before I cross anything out. So take each piece. So x could not equal 0. x plus 6 could not equal 0. So that would mean x could not be negative 6. x minus 6 could not equal 0. So x could not equal positive 6. So there's your three restrictions. Use that to help you write your domain. So again, if you need that visual, think about everything on the number line. We can be everything but these three. So your domain is going to be negative infinity to negative 6 and negative 6 to 0 and 0 to 6 and 6 to infinity. Okay, so removable points. Again, removable are going to be the factors that we cross out. So we can cross out this x minus 6. So I'm just going to put holes. So you're going to say x minus 6 equals 0. So you would add that 6. And we would find out that our removable point or where the hole in the graph is, is that x equals 6. Non-removable is the factors in the denominator you did not cross out. So we did not cross out the x, so we're going to set that equal to 0. We did not cross out the x plus 6, so we're going to set that equal to 0. So x equals negative 6. Again, three restrictions. All of those were either removable or non-removable. 